Kitty Coleman with the Tornado Apostolic Church. Welcome to our morning devotion. Today, we're going to be looking at Soul Winner's Joy, Part 1. Psalms 126, verses 5 through 6. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. That sounds good. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. First, one must go forth learning what the Bible says. In order to sow seeds, we must know something about it. So, if you want to have the joy of a soul winner, well, you've got to learn what's written in the Word of God. And as we learn, we find that there are things written in the Bible to give us guidance and direction. Uh, first of all, ourselves. We need to make sure that we make ourselves ready according to what the Word of God says. You know, the Word of God, when we start reading it, we start getting interested in God. We find that He calls us to a place of repentance and baptism in His name and the infilling of the Holy Ghost. You know, God speaks to us in his word. He gives us guidelines to go by, how we are to love one another, to love our neighbor as ourself, to reach out with compassion and peace, reaching for others, caring, making a difference, being helpful, meek and kind, gentle. We learn all these things from the word of God. And as we walk with him, because we found that being filled with his spirit, the Bible says, without the spirit, you're none of his. And it also tells us that we shall know the truth, and the truth will set us free. And how do we know the truth? Through the spirit of the Lord. So they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. If I can find that place to pray and talk to the Lord, have that conversation with him. The Bible talks about weeping before him. Heartfelt prayer. It's so important. Seeking the Lord. What for? For his will. What would... You have me to do, Lord. Give me that direction. Then I can go forward bearing precious seed, rightly dividing the word of God. That's what the word teaches us. And oh, if I want to be a soul winner full of joy, then I must heed the word of God. Lord, we thank you for your love and your mercy. Lord, for an opportunity to be a vessel that you can use for your glory. Help us, Lord, to go forward. Lord, to be a soul winner full of joy. So we give you all the praise in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Well, we trust that you will have a wonderful day in Jesus Christ.